Hello there, everyone, and welcome to my home. I am so glad that you're joining me today. I am getting all the decorating done for spring 2024 around my home. And while I'm doing that, I am going to catch you up on what I did last year with all the best of my spring decorating from 2023 in this marathon today. I hope you enjoy it. Get ready for some changes around my house this year with my decorating. I am going to be doing some new, fun, and exciting things. So I hope you will come back and join me as soon as I have those spring decorating videos headed your way. They are coming shortly and I cannot wait to share it. Until I see you then, enjoy the spring decorating marathon. Talk to me down in the comments, and if you're not subscribed, be sure you do that. Hit your notification bell so you don't miss those upcoming spring decorating videos. All right, love you guys, appreciate you, and hope you have a fabulous and wonderful day. Hey there everyone and welcome to my home. I am so glad that you stopped by. Today we are in my kitchen decorating it for spring and Easter. Welcome back or welcome if you are new. My name is Lisa and we are going to start here in my kitchen with a blank slate. I am going to wipe everything down on the counters before I start putting out my new decor. So we're going to take just a minute to do that. But again, I'm so glad you're here. Who is ready for spring? It is the season of renewal. And with that comes so many exciting and fun activities and events. Part of that for me is decorating it up for spring, rejuvenating it after we've had the long winter and Easter. That is my second favorite time of the year, only after Christmas. And you will see a lot of the bunnies and the eggs and chicks and stuff around here. But Easter is, and most importantly, the death and resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And so while you see me put out all of the cute decor for Easter and spring, let us not lose sight of the fact that this is also the season for our own birth and renewal. And it is through Jesus Christ's sacrifice that we will have eternal life in heaven. Once I have my daily decor put up and everything wiped down, we get to start with the fun stuff. I found this bunny picture at Walmart. It was $14.98. It is super cute. I loved the colors in it and the frame. I'm going to stick him back here. When possible, I love to hide any plugs or cords on my kitchen countertops. The Mackenzie Child's pot I already had. This saucer came from Walmart. I shared it in a haul in my last video. And then this super cute little wooden bunny I got from Walmart as well. A lot of decor you're gonna see today though, I have had for years and I have enjoyed season after season, these eggs being one of them. You absolutely do not need to go out and buy new stuff every year to decorate with. I have added some new stuff in this year, but you know, like I said, using a lot of what I already have. I think it is super cute to put some decorative cup towels coming out of my KitchenAid mixing bowl. It just softens that look of an appliance that has to stay out because I use it often and it is very heavy. Thank you. 
I want this area by my cooktop to be functional, but I also want it to be festive and pretty for spring and Easter. I'm going to layer this Mackenzie Childs portly check platter with this rabbit cutting board. I have had both of these. It will help conceal the cord and plug from my hot water kettle that I use all the time. This black planter is new. I shared it in my home decor haul video last week and I got it from Walmart for a really good price. It was under $6. I added these faux baby breath plant to it. Now it sheds and that's a little annoying so I may need to switch that out but I already had these from previous seasons. This white tray is part of my dinnerware. And then I picked up this really pretty pink and white mug for Easter from Joanne Craft Store. This little sign I'm gonna hang from a command hook that I keep here on my backsplash. It makes it easy to take off and on when I'm cooking so it doesn't get ruined. This is a threshold bunny mug that I got from Target. It was $5. So, so sweet. It is functional and it is also decorative. Across to the other side of the kitchen we're gonna start working over here again wiping everything down real good so that it is starting with a fresh clean surface now I have visions of doing grand things over here but we actually sit and eat at our bar top here and it is not a favored thing of some of my family members to have a lot of big heavy decor over here so I always try to keep that in mind when I'm setting up anything over in this side of the kitchen. This white planter came from Walmart. It is new this season and I picked it up back in the garden section. I shared all of the details on that in my spring at home decor haul that I previously mentioned. It will be linked down below. I'm going to add these faux lamb's ear and florals to the bowl and I fiddled with this <laughs> way more than I thought should have been expected but I wanted to separate it just right. Now I may end up pulling these flowers out and putting fruit like pears or apples and little cuties in this bowl. So that is also functional um, and easily accessible here on my countertop. But for now, I think this looks really simple and pretty and it is low enough not to be a bother or a burden when eating at the bar top. another ceramic egg in this green color and then I found this beaded garland after Christmas on a super super clearance deal at Walmart it was for mini trees and I bought this in several different patterns and I got these for a dollar 25 so think outside the box when looking for home decor and repurpose things or 
envision things in a new way. These little rabbits are a salt and pepper shaker, so I'm gonna add them here so we can use them for the season. I love this little bunny ear candy jar. I'm going to fill it with some peanut M&Ms for my family, and I will never forget when I got it because I got it spring of 2020, just like a week before everything shut down and lockdowns began. That was my only new addition that year because nobody was getting out but I love it and I've used it every Easter since. And there you have it, a very simple but very fun and colorful spring vignette. or decorative cup towels is a very economical way to add seasonal decor or you know a festive touch to your kitchen and you can use these over and over from season to season This part of my kitchen countertop gets used more than any other area in my kitchen. So this arrangement I'm going to put on a circular board, not only to ground and anchor all of the decor together, but also so that it's easily moved when I need to use the space for cooking and baking. This little vase came from Target. In it, I just have some faux florals that I already had in my collection. And then I'm going to add this little wicker rattan bunny that I picked up recently at Target. He was five dollars. And then to top it off, I have this moss green colored candle in this glass vase. And there you have it. It's simple and easy. I can transport and move this around as I need. So what do you think of my kitchen spring and Easter decor and nothing elaborate, simple, easy. All of it is definitely economical and on a budget, something you could recreate in your own home. I have so much more decor coming your way this spring. I'm working my way around room by room and I will be sure to bring it all to you as well as a lot of spring cleaning coming your way as well. So if you haven't already, I invite you to hit that subscribe bar and join the Uniquely Lisa family here. I would most definitely love to have you. Don't forget to leave me a comment and hit that thumbs up before you click onto my next video. I will have them linked here in my end screen for you to continue watching and enjoying. I love spending time with you and appreciate when you watch. So until I see you in the next video, I hope you have the most wonderful and blessed day and I look forward to seeing you on here again real soon. Hello there everyone and welcome to my home. Today we are decorating my entryway for spring and Easter so that it is a warm inviting place to welcome guests. I'm glad that you stopped by today to join me. If you are new, my name is Lisa and I am so happy to have each and every one of you watching. The first place that company and guests see when they enter your home is your entryway and this is one of my favorite places to decorate. 
And whether your entry space is large or small or somewhere in between, you can do so much to make it warm, cozy, and inviting. I always like to start with a fresh blank slate. I also like to give all my surfaces a quick wipe down before I put out my new decorations and home decor. to swap out the captain's dining chair that was here previously with this upholstered chair that I am borrowing from my bedroom and then I'm going to start removing all the decor so we can start fresh with everything new. And speaking of new, I am going to unbox my Real Feel tulips with you. I ordered these off of Amazon. Everything will be linked down in the description for stuff that I share that is linkable just for your convenience. But I saw these and wanted to give them a try. The description said that they were supposed to be lifelike and they had really good reviews. So at first touch here, they definitely do have a good quality to them. I cannot believe all these tulips came in this little box. I will keep the box to store them after the season so they stay nice for next year. But I chose white. They had different colors to choose from. The stems are bendable so you can droop them and drape them over so that they do have that more realistic look. I'm going to use this crystal vase to arrange the tulips. I thought maybe I could spread the petals apart, but you cannot do that. Out of the package, some of the tulips had a rubber band around them in bunches and I'm glad that I left them banded together because they just went in this vase so nicely and just set up into a realistic arrangement. This is definitely not sponsored. I used my own money to purchase these tulips and I can highly recommend them. I will have them linked in the description like I said if you want to snag you some. start placing the other items. I'm going to put this remote control battery candle back on its pedestal here. I love the juxtaposition of the crystal and then I made over these rabbits to have a concrete look with the wicker and the wood just all of it together. I love the way it keeps your eye and your mind guessing what you're going to see next. using black accents in my home and so I love this frame and the florals just say spring and if you can believe it I picked up this black beaded strand at Dollar Tree. I thrifted this little bird for 99 cents. I love birds and then just added some faux greenery in there. I'm going to soften the pattern of the upholstered chair with this sage green throw. It is super soft. And then I bought this pretty spring pillow from Walmart this season. This planter also came from Walmart in the garden section. And then I had this little faux greenery already in my collection. I also had these little ceramic birds for years, but on my last trip into Hobby Lobby, I noticed that they still carry them. So if you would like to add these to your spring decor, you can head to Hobby Lobby and pick you up some in their spring garden section. 
I really loved my winter decor on this table and was sad to see it go, but I have fallen in love all over again with this new spring decorating here. I think it is just the right blend of textures and colors in spring. You have Easter with the rabbits, but it's very classy and tasteful. I needed extra storage for some blankets, so I picked up this basket at Ross for $17.99. It was a steal given that it is a very large basket. And I got it to put some out of season pillows in and store it down in there so you'll never know. So it adds another element to the room of the texture and softness of the pillows, but also provides the functionality of extra storage. very tall ceilings here in my entryway and this hanging wall basket looked kind of sad up here by itself so I found a few additional wall medallions I connected these two together so that it gives color and texture and dimension I just put that on there with a twist tie and then I hang them up here and this is what it now looks like. I think it is much better in a grouping here. I never was completely satisfied with it before. So, you know, that's, that's the thing with decorating. You just keep working at it and working at it. This area just needed a little work. Again, dusting everything down. And I will put my inspiration picture inserted here for you to see. I saw this on Instagram and I wished I could remember which account, but I had this large lantern and knew I could recreate the look. So I found these floral greenery stems at Target. They were $5 each and they are a good size with a long stem to put up and out of this lantern. And just decorating tip and advice for you, anytime you get new greenery or faux stems, take the extra time to fluff them out and bend them. It just will make them look more realistic and not be so flat in your arrangements. So always take that extra time. I do that even when my stems have been in storage because they get flattened. So I'm going to just mess with this here for a minute and get it just the way we want it to look. A lot of the items I'm sharing with you today were featured in my spring home decor haul video and you can check that out to see prices and everything but I found this planter at Walmart and I'm going to put in this faux fiddle fig leaf plant. I'm going to use this old storage decorative storage box that I have to elevate the plant up into the pot so it's not so low. Again, fluffing out all the leaves so that it looks more realistic and lifelike. And then to top this area off, I am moving the picture that I previously had on my entry table propped up and I'm going to hang it on the wall here. The colors look really good with this plant and the woodwork. It just ties everything together and pops.
And because we need a little bit of spring up here, I'm gonna take these faux green flock rabbits and position them up here, bringing the green up into this corner. I think all of this together works so much better. It helps to anchor my corner curio cabinet. That was a precious gift from my husband on our wedding. It just looks really nice all together and decorated. Now we are gonna move on to this other entry table across the room. And again, take everything off, even if we think we're gonna use it again or know we are gonna use it back here in this space. I like to remove it all and then dust it down again. But it just gives your eye a good clean slate so that you can start fresh with your new decor for the next season. This lamp is fairly new. I bought, well, it's actually really new. I bought it right after the first of the year at Ross and it was only like $24.99. I really do love it, but I had this planter that I got from Hobby Lobby and I'm gonna turn it into a lamp for this space. And I'm gonna do that by taking an old lamp that I have and setting it down inside. Now I'm gonna use a book to raise it up so that it is the right height. And then I'm gonna add a white pleated shade to it. The cord you cannot see because it is the same color as the pot and it's in this corner, so that's not a problem. But it turned into a really lovely lamp and I have seen these in stores and online for $100 plus. So to be able to make one and then repurpose it down the road back into a planter and a gold lamp is even better. Beside the lamp, I'm gonna add a book for some height and then this black planter from Walmart with a faux plant that I already had and then my close jar. I love this jar. You, some people love tear trays and they're great, but for me, my love is a cloche. You can do so many things and I love decorating them. I'm gonna put this little plant that I had and then these concrete bunnies. I got these this season at Target Dollar Spot. They're super cute and I just, again, love the wood and the concrete and the white, just all the textures. And then the black metal candle stand and I have something very special I'm gonna put on that here in just a minute. I'm gonna lay out my beaded garland again. And then a couple of antique books that belonged to my husband's aunt. I'm going to use those to display and elevate this little potted faux plant. And then I have these nesting eggs that I just love. They have John 3:16 on it. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son so that we can have everlasting life. That is what Easter is all about. The sacrifice of our Lord and Savior so that our sins are washed clean and we can be reborn and rebirthed through his sacrifice. All we have to do is believe in him and give our heart over to him and then we spend eternity with him. So where you see all my rabbits and florals and cute stuff for spring and Easter, this is the meaning that I truly grab hold of and embrace, not just at Easter, but all year long. I am 
so glad that you joined me today for decorating spring and Easter in my entryway. If you enjoyed this video, I always appreciate when you hit that thumbs up and drop me a comment below. I love to talk to you down in the comments. If you haven't already, I invite you to hit that subscribe bar. Join the Uniquely Lisa family. I most definitely want you to be a part of it. I will be back soon with more decorating. I have cleaning motivation. I have some cooking for you. So much is happening here around my home. And until I see you in the next video, I hope you have the most wonderful and blessed day. And I look forward to seeing you on here again real soon. Hello there and welcome to my home. I'm so glad you're here. My name is Lisa. Today we are adding some special Easter touches along with some cozy, neutral, simple spring decor to our living room. Again, I just want to welcome you and tell you how glad I am that you are here. We're jumping right into this decorating with this shelf that I have hanging on my wall. I'm going to add this gold medallion. It is on a marble base. And then I found this picture at Hobby Lobby a while back. Always get your Hobby Lobby items on the 50% sale. Wait till the week they're on sale. The gold ties in together. I'm going to break up the gold and transition the hard lines with the greenery. You can see I like to use a lot of pieces over and over again. You don't have to buy new things when you decorate. You can just replace and repurpose them. And then this neutral toned little bunny rabbit. And that's going to top off this shelf simple and when easter's over i will just switch out the rabbit and it will just carry on over for the rest of spring just below the shelf is our dog kennel hello raider he's going to patiently wait while i decorate the top of his home away from home we have a lot of new friends here so you probably don't remember this vase that i picked up at tj maxx it had a pinkish hue to it and so i gave it a little diy makeover and that will be coming up soon i'm going to share that with you guys i'm going to anchor down some other things that i plan to put here with this gold tray One of them being my wax warmer. I, this is a wax warmer from Walmart and I love the way it looks. It's very pretty. I have had wax warmers spill before so I always like to put them on a tray or something to protect my wood surface. I'm adding this cream colored vase filled with some faux lavender and then this little bunny dish I've had for a long time. I'm going to add some chocolate M&Ms to it. because I want to bring a little more spring to this table I'm going to add this faux baby's breath I can't even remember where I picked this up I've had it so long that I'm going to place it in here and it sheds a lot but it won't be disturbed here so that's not going to be a problem after I fluff it and I always like to tell y'all to take the time to spread fluff and arrange your faux greenery it just helps to make it look more realistic
this all ties in nicely together, but I have this empty space between my floor lamp and my television cabinet that I want to soften and kind of anchor so that my lamp doesn't look like it's floating. I picked up this planter at Dollar Tree in the $5 section. And then I shared this little tree in my recent spring home decor haul. If you missed that, go check it out. But I'm going to elevate the tree in the planter with this book. And then I'm going to use packing pillows from a recent order that I received. I'm going to fill in the gaps with this so that when I add my Spanish moss, it doesn't take as much of it to cover the surface. The Spanish moss is very messy, so I'm going to give it a quick vacuum after I'm done, and then you'll get to see the final look of the shelf, the table, and the tree all tied in together. If you have pets that like to get into things, then I suggest maybe you use a different covering or like a scarf, a blanket, something like that, that they won't destroy or possibly eat. We're very blessed and fortunate that Raider doesn't mess with anything. He is a people pleaser and he knows his mama would not be happy. So I'm able to use this safely with him, but just wanted to throw that out there if you have a pet that likes to eat things or make a mess in your home. Choose something else because this is definitely messy. Now we're going to move over to my mantle and this is one of my favorite places to decorate in my living room. Uh, you can do so much with this. I'm showing you here that I keep these command hooks on my mantle at all times so that I can attach different decorations for birthdays and holidays up here and I don't have to take them on and off. If you watched my kitchen decorate with me, you will recognize this. I am going to borrow it from the kitchen and place it here on the edge of my mantle. I'm using these books as decoration. These have been passed down and are special to my family. I have this little bunny statue that I'm going to put here beside the vase. And then I hauled this in my spring decor video for you guys, and I'm gonna just round it out here on the end. So I've had this garland for a long time, and I'm gonna use those command hooks I told you about. Makes it very simple and easy to place the garland up here and drape it off the edge of the mantle. like to keep this little lamp up here year round for just ambient lighting, but I do not like to see the plug and cord. So I'm going to place this glass vase up here and fill it with these 
gold marbled eggs I picked up at the end of last season from Hobby Lobby at 80% off. So don't skip those end of season clearance sales if you want to add to your seasonal decor. It's the most economical way to do that. After filling the vase with the eggs, I'm going to insert these faux flowers and then I'm going to take some extra eggs to prop the flower stems up so that they stay just where I want them to be in the vase. I love mixing gold and silver metals, so I'm gonna add this bunny statue here to also help hide the rest of that cord. And then this matching little silver bunny on a wood platform here on the end of the mantle. I have this super cute carrot gnome bunny garland that I'm gonna drape in front of the greenery and make it super cute and festive for Easter. found a lot of my decorations through the years at either Hobby Lobby or TJ Maxx and I was recently in both of those stores and they still have plenty of Easter decor and accessories to choose from so if you are feeling inspired to decorate still there's plenty of time head in and pick up some stuff Dollar Tree is another great resource if you want to keep it very budget friendly I think the top part of my mantle turned out super cute and I want to tie in some greenery and some of the orange from the carrot down below on my hearth so we're gonna decorate that area next have had this spiral topiary for a long long time I got it at Hobby Lobby and it had a brown vase and it is still available even after like 10 years so you can still go get it and I'm going to share that DIY with you as well this is my round top collection holder and a little hanger and then I'm going to just anchor everything down to the hearth with this nest full of eggs and a faux bird 
So all that together just completes the look of the mantle and hearth and I think it turned out great and it will transition after Easter as well into just wonderful spring decor with a few new touches and modifications. This last table that I want to decorate it already has most of the decor on it that I just leave year-round I have these ceramic flowers that I love but I'm going to add a, a very special touch I love 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 this resurrection scene I have had this for years I couldn't even tell you how long my boys were little when we got it it is the representation of what Easter is all about the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ he took on all of our sins and that is what is truly the focus of the upcoming Easter season so we have this in its place of honor here on the table I just love it I love this when I look at it it just sings to my heart and I hope it does to you as well we're gonna add a few throw pillows to our couch. Some bunny loves you. My husband got this for me for my birthday. And then I picked up this rabbit pillow from Walmart. It matches the rabbit picture I showed you earlier in my kitchen, decorate with me. Easter decorating has almost come to an end here at my house. I do still want to show you my spring porch. I've got some special things planned there. And then, like I said, be on the lookout for those super easy DIYs for the aged vessels and concrete look. It is a way to transform existing pieces into something new and modern. I am so glad that you are here and so glad that you have chosen to watch today. I always appreciate when you hit that thumbs up, leave me a comment, and if you haven't already, I invite you to subscribe and join the community here. Until I see you in that next video, I hope you have the most wonderful and blessed day, and I look forward to seeing you on here again real soon. Hello there and welcome. Today we are decorating for Easter and spring in my kitchen dining area. And I also have a super easy spring DIY for you that you don't want to miss. Again, hello and welcome. I am so glad that you are each here watching today. If you are new, my name is Lisa. We are going to start out with this very unique, simple spring DIY. This is a table tray that I am making to go down the center of my kitchen dining table. It is made from an unfinished porch sign. This one I picked up at Joann Craft Stores. Got it on sale. I'll put the prices here for you. But we're going to start by measuring out the center of the board because I'm going to use these little candle cups that I also got at Joann's and make feet so that my tray is raised up. Now I'm using this tray here for my Easter decor, but I can use this for any season. I can use it for a charcuterie serving platter. You could make a dessert platter out of this. It is 48 inches long, so it is very substantial and it's gonna be oh so cute. So I'm gonna use some E6000. You can get this um, at any craft store, Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Joann's where I got the sign and these little wooden candle cups. I'm just using the edge of the porch sign to line these up in the corner and then where I marked it down the middle of the tray. Once 
once you get all of your tray feet attached to your porch board, then you'll want to let it sit here and dry. Mine, I left it about an hour just while I did other things around the house. And then I came back and I gave it a whitewash finish and I will show you how to do that next. I chose to use this white chalk paint that I got from Hobby Lobby and I'm going to thin it down with some water. You will see I have just a very old paintbrush that I am using today. If you don't have a wide paintbrush, you can use like a chip paintbrush that you get at the hardware store or even Dollar Tree has them and they are a dollar, they're cheap. I'm just gonna eyeball the water and just keep thinning it out. I do want the grain of the porch sign to show through. I want it to be imperfect and very rough finish, but use your imagination. You can paint this any color. I could go back and paint this any color later on. I like to use black accents in my home, so I may end up painting it black down the road, but for spring, the white is perfect, bright, and cheery. So you're just going to lightly stroke on the thinned out paint and you're going to want to work quick and in sections and then I'm going to take a paper towel and then just remove some of the paint that I just washed onto the sign. You're just going to repeat this all the way down and around the sides and then on the feet. There is no right or wrong way to do this. If you're unsure, start with a lighter finish and you can always build it up. selecting your porch sign or your board whatever you're going to use for a tray like this and make sure it is as flat and straight as possible. I chose one it's the best condition but it still has a little bit of a warp to it. I'm really hopeful that when I set my decorations on the middle of it that it will lower it down and where it actually touches <laughs> the table but regardless I'm happy with how it turns out in the end. So you can see here how quick and easy this process is. It goes fast and in the end you're going to have a very special and unique piece that no one else is going to have and I love to do things like that in my home. Something doesn't have to be particularly hard for it to look really nice. So it dries really quick too. So I'm going to finish up the painting here and then let it dry and we're going to start working on the fun part which is decorating the space for Easter and spring. shared this white planter in these boxwoods not too long ago in a video and I still really love it and it will go back like this after Easter but for the next month or so I found this really pretty faux cabbage plant I got it from Hobby Lobby and it was half price so it was $12 and I broke off the stem so that it would fit flush down into the planter love the way this looks says spring says easter the rabbits you can just see this out in your garden with them munching on them making you upset right <laughs> This next edition I actually got from my friend that we were having a garage sale together and I bought it from her at my own garage sale <laughs> but I you've used it for years and I love it I have these ceramic carrots in this little basket that I'm gonna set up here on his planter tray to decorate it and give it that special spring and Easter touch I've had this beaded happy Easter garland for a long time as well and just simply tucking it into the bowl 
going to keep it simple here since there is already so much pattern going on with the cabinet itself. We're now moving on to the kitchen table where we're going to use that tray that we DIY'd and set it up down the center and then start adding our decor. If you watched my kitchen decorate with me for spring and Easter, you will recognize this planter that matches the one across from it on the little black and white Harlequin table. I'm stealing it from in my kitchen because I thought it would look really pretty here. And then I'm adding this gold tray to anchor this white ceramic bunny that is from my Easter collection. these black iron candlesticks because I do use a lot of black accents in my home they will tie in nicely and then I have this garland I've had it forever and the beads are shaped like little eggs with little leaves in between I'm going to drape this in and around the centerpiece here and then last year at the clearance end of the season when Hobby Lobby had everything 80% off I picked up this package of three wicker straw Easter eggs and I'm just going to tuck them in here amongst all the other decorations. And then from Dollar Tree, I picked up these LED emergency candles. They require two AAA batteries and I'm going to use these in my candlestick. They are white, they are shorter so that you can still see over them. They're not a fire hazard next to my florals, but I will say they are very bright. They are a cool white light. So I'm gonna try to figure out some way to paint those with a Sharpie or some acrylic paint to tone that down. So <laughs> I will have to let y'all know later if that works. I'm still thinking about what to do with that because isn't that very bright? But genius little candles, $1.25 for a pack of two from Dollar Tree. have this corner china cabinet in my kitchen and I always love to do something up here on top to fill this empty void and space so I am going to use a couple of different sized vases these are from threshold at Target I will link anything I can down in the description for your convenience but I have these, I believe they're called dogwood plants. They are faux blossoms on these stems. And I'm just going to nestle them down into the shorter vase. Again, I've said this in previous videos. Take the time to fluff and bend all your faux greenery. This is not new greenery, but it has been in storage. So it needs fluffing just the same as new stems would. It goes a long way in making your arrangement look more realistic. This right here is what Easter is all about. He is risen. I found this sign at Walmart for $7.98. I'm going to just prop it up here and then add this cute little basket with faux greenery and eggs in here to soften up the look of the faces. 
This is my favorite area that I've decorated so far this season. It makes my heart happy to look up here and see this every day as I walk in and out through the most lived in part of my home, which is our kitchen and family room area here. Simple and minimal touches of Easter and spring in my kitchen dine-in area, but it is enough to bring this wonderful season of renewal and rebirth into the house from the outside. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I am glad that you stopped by and visited me here in my home and on my channel. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. I appreciate that so much when you do that. And leave me a comment below. I love to hear from you guys. If you haven't already, I would absolutely love it if you hit that subscribe bar and joined the Uniquely Lisa family. We have a great community and I would love for you to be a part of it. And until I see you in the next video, I hope you have the most wonderful and blessed day and I look forward to seeing you on here again real soon. Hello there everyone. It is a beautiful spring day. We are outside and we are going to decorate the front porch. Hello there and welcome to my home. My name is Lisa. I'm so glad that you stopped by. We are out on the front porch. We are doing some early spring decorating. The weather here is quite dusty and quite windy. So you'll see I have a lot to clean up first. I'm gonna do that in the blink of an eye. With the porch clean and free of all that dirt, we are going to spruce it up with some faux greenery. I will be later adding all of the beautiful fresh flowers and plants, but we are still having freezing temperatures. We're not past that last frost yet, so I can't do that here. But we're going to at least make it look nice and inviting because Easter is coming and I want it to look extra special for any guests that stop by. Of course, every front porch deserves a beautiful rug. I picked this one up from Walmart several seasons ago. I like it because I can spray it off and it's easy to remove all of that dirt and sand. Now, this doormat is very heavy. It is monogrammed. That's why you will see the name covered up on there, but it was a gift and I have had this at a really long time. I love it. It helps to keep my outdoor or black and white rug from blowing away in the wind as well. These large pots are also something that I have had for several years. Pick things you love and that you're gonna be able to use for many, many years to come. Because these planters are so deep, I have turned over a plastic pot from previous plants I bought that will elevate my topiary so they're the right height. My husband and I bought these spiral faux topiaries at Hobby Lobby when they were on the half price week to cover up this empty space at the base of the topiary between the pot. I am using these rounds I ordered off of Amazon. They are made to go around the base of a newly planted tree to help hold moisture. I will link them down in the description. They just help to hide that big gap and cover up the plastic pot. You can get them in different sizes for whatever you need for your pot, but they make quick work of filling up this extra gap. Because we do get a lot of wind, I'm talking 40 mile an hour wind, gusts sometimes 60, 65 miles per hour. We get a lot of dust. I keep all my outdoor decor simple. I would love to put lanterns and candles and all that, but it's just not possible where I live. We also have porch pirates. They love to come and steal things from your front porch, unfortunately. Now I'm going to do the same thing on this other side with the other topiary. 
I just loved these. I loved the shape of the spiral and I loved the copper pipe with the finial that ran through the topiary. I think I'm gonna be able to use this all year long for all the seasons, decorating them up throughout the year. I think they will look really nice at Christmas with some white twinkle lights on them. So I'm very excited for this purchase. Like I said, I think I will get a lot of use out of them. I have used this wreath off and on for the past few spring seasons, but I recently saw a similar one at Joanne Craft Stores if you're interested in purchasing one for yourself. This front porch proves that less is more sometimes. This simple porch decor is the perfect touch for early spring. And I think it turned out beautifully. It will liven up even more when the weather gets warm, like I said, and we're past these freezing nighttime temperatures. Thank you so much for being here and watching today. I adore and appreciate every single one of you. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Talk to me down in the comments, and I invite you to hit that subscribe bar, joining the Uniquely Lisa family. Most of all, I hope hope you have the most wonderful and blessed day and I look forward to seeing you on here again real soon.